there's so much I could say about Vital Mind Reset, but I'm going to try and rein it in to just sort of like a core theme for me, which is that really my entire life, as far as I can remember, has been about like intense effort and intense trying and striving to feel better or to be better or to behave better or to look better um, and just sort of like an attuning to struggle and suffering to some extent and I, I think I really believed that was my value as a person was like how much pain I could hold and push through and I also think in some sense that I liked it, that I um, that I could be like a sobbing, depressed, anxious puddle on the floor, but I, like the punishment of that or the martyrdom of it um, felt right somehow, or I felt deserving of it. And I think in some way maybe felt good because it was like I was the victim of my own mental health and... <clears throat> I think that that probably kept me from having to, you know, face some of my deeper desires for life. And I don't know how exactly or when over the course of the past 44 days this shifted because honestly, I just followed the steps. Um, but I can truly deeply feel all of that falling away and that to me is just like a deeper gift than I could possibly express and and it's interesting because this program does require some some trying and some striving you know it's like it requires a commitment and the follow-through so it's not like it's without effort that I have been doing this but it changed somehow like I think I started the protocol with like this underlying <clears throat> core narrative of like I need to do this I have to do this in order to get better in order to be okay and it now ending it feels like I choose to do this because I am okay. And that might seem simple or just like a play on words, but it's not, it's so deep for me. And it's percolating through so many areas of my life now that, and I am so deeply grateful for that. And, um, you know, there's this Maya Angelou quote that I have always hated <laughs> that, it goes something like, I belong nowhere, I belong everywhere, I belong to myself. And I always thought it was like such hollow words, you know, like such a band-aid, like a superficial wording to like lay across this like deep feeling of despair and loneliness and non-belonging that I've, you know, felt since I can remember. And... um I now truly love the last line of that quote. That I belong to myself because I feel it and it's true for me now. And I feel just like a safety within my body, which, you know, I didn't even like having a body. <laughs> okay, so um, for me to feel some sort of enjoyment of inhabiting this container of skin is um, really a miracle. And I, um, I'm i so grateful. And I, uh, I just feel that like my vitality, my vital mind has been thoroughly reset. So thank you so much.